everybody first of all I am so sorry it's noisy it's really super noisy outside it's just rush hour and I had no other time to record this okay second of all I tried recording this um, I don't know Monday I think and when I did I recorded everything and it's like 30 minutes of footage footage yeah footage and like the only 10 last minute are on sync the rest is like <laughs> I talk and then three seconds later you see my mouth moving and it's just a disaster so I'm gonna record everything again but I really liked the ending in the last 10 minutes that were actually on sync so I might use that so if you see me changing clothes all of a, all of a sudden it's because of that but anyway yeah so sorry about the noise sorry if you see me changing clothes all of a sudden and maybe the angles are a bit different I'm sorry about that too but oh well it is what it is and I really wanted to do this um I, I actually wanted to do something about Doctor Who for quite a long time now I, I just had this block and I didn't know what to do exactly like I didn't know if I wanted to do a do-it-yourself or maybe a an episode review I didn't know and I was really like I just need to do something Doctor Who related because I love Doctor Who and I just love everything about it and I miss the show because you know BBC sucks and I need more episodes and they won't give me so yeah, anyway, I decided to do a tag, a Doctor Who tag. Now, I don't know if there is an official one exactly for Doctor Who. I searched a little bit on the web and I found one that I really liked. I don't see any video related to this. I only see the tag, which I will leave linked down below. And you can either post it as a video. I tag you all if you want to do this. You can post it as a blog post or a Tumblr post. I don't know, whatever you want to do with it just go with it I wasn't even tagged that I just was like oh cool I'm gonna do it also sorry if you can see reflections on my uh, glasses I just have my computer whoop, whoop, right here so I can answer everything anyway let's get to it the first question is when did you start to become a Doctor Who fan I think back in like 2008 2010 I don't know maybe 2009 something like that I watched the girl in the fireplace and I watched just like, I don't know, 30 minutes of it and I was watching, like I was just browsing, surfing, zapping, I don't know how to say that, I was just watching TV randomly and it popped up and I was like, okay, what? This is cool, is he an alien? What is going on here? Are they in a spaceship? There's a horse? What? What is this? And I had to leave because I had to go get my nephew and I was just like, oh, um, but what is that? How can I see that again? And I fell in love and I don't know, that just happened randomly and I never found Doctor Who again. I didn't even catch the name of the show and I just kind of left it to just let it be, you know, just let it happen. And then in 2000, I don't know, 13 maybe? Or, or was it last year? I don't know, I don't remember. Tumblr was like Doctor Who was all over Tumblr like it was all over and me and my best friend were like we should watch that and I was like I know I, I watched one episode once and it was amazing so we have to and I don't know we were just like okay let's do it and she was like yeah let's do it and we started watching Doctor Who next question I'm not gonna number them because I really I forget numbers numbers are hard okay favorite doctor my favorite doctor will forever be 10 I don't know I just I really love him I, get, I think I have a theory, okay, hear me out, I have a theory that the first doctor that you see is forever like with you, it's just a thing, you have a thing with him, it's, it's your baby, it, it kind of like what happens when they regenerate and they see the first person that they see they're just like, oh, you, you are mine, we're linked now, and I kind of have that, I don't know, because I watched first I cheated I just like yeah nine has only one season whatever and I cheated and I went straight for the good-looking oops and my friend actually stayed and she watched nine I went back again later to watch nine by the way and she was watching nine first and I think she was she is still very protective of nine and I'm not that much I kind of just let it go <laughs> with him it was just like oh he regenerated cool 
let me see 10 again <laughs> you know and I have something really strong with 10 I don't think like il that, that was a police car cool I don't think I have like I've never seen 11 or 12 as the doctor I just saw them as time lords next question favorite companion my favorite companion is a bit polemic and it's Martha I am in love with Martha Jones she is just so incredible and just amazing the first time I saw her I fell in love with her she's so strong and what I like about her especially and specifically is how she can say goodbye to the doctor we can never say goodbye to the doctor that is something that even Donna which she is a badass had trouble saying when she first met the doctor hence she went out looking for him and she just gave everything to him and he mistreated her so badly he was just so into Rose and he was just slapping her all over and I hated that I hated how he treated her because the doctor has a way of he will either make you feel very important or he will make you feel like you're worth nothing at all because the other companion that he was with was better than you are you know and I, I hate that about him let's not talk about that but yeah Martha Jones is forever my favorite and I will like defend her to the bones or something like that I don't know next episode favorite next episode what next question favorite episode my hands down favorite episode is Vincent and the doctor like even though I don't like Eleven that much, I think he, he's very emotional, Matt Smith is a really amazing um, like actor, he's really good at acting, so he, he, can, like, he can give you all the feels that we fangirls love, <laughs> and I think Vincent and the Doctor just portrayed everything right, like mental illness, um, Vincent and the doctor and I don't know I didn't even care for the monster I don't think that was even the point because it was like a crappy monster it didn't even show um, uh, like a lot but I don't know it just it makes me cry even thinking about it I just really love that episode least favorite episode I don't think I have one that I really like I don't know that I hate or that I really don't like I don't know I have my a pro big problem with Matt Smith's entire seasons because I think they were just rushed. They 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 sorta they they told you that they had something like and in the end everything would be resolved. They're like you gotta keep watching because something like everything will come together and in the end a lot came together of course but it wasn't everything and I hated that what happened to the silence for crying out loud where is river and just a lot of stuff just kind of was hanging in the air and I really didn't like that I don't have like I hate this episode I just really dislike how they handled the entire seasons next question least favorite companion can we take river in consideration because if so river definitely but if not rose I know that's an unpopular opinion, everyone loves Rose, but like, I liked her when I watched her, and then I watched Martha, and then I watched Donna, and then I watched Clara, and Amy, and Rory, and I was just like, oh my god, she cannot stop complaining. She just complains, and she asks for help, and she's just gonna, oh, I'm blonde, and pretty, and help me, doctor. I don't know, I just see her that way, I'm sorry. She probably isn't even, what am I doing with my hands? She probably isn't that bad. I just, I don't know. I, I like when they're much more badass than she was. I think she complained too much for my taste. So I don't really like Rose. I understand how important she is to the whole thing, but I don't really like her that much. Least favorite doctor. So far, Capaldi. I just, I never felt like he was really the doctor. I felt like he he's just a time lord. As I said about Matt Smith, I just think that Matt, I liked um, um, the Eleven's characteristics more than I liked Twelve. But, 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 things can change. I don't know, maybe I'll like him, maybe he'll change, and then he'll have to regenerate, and we'll cry, because that is what BBC does to you. Thanks, BBC.
Next question. Greatest monster you have ever seen in Doctor Who? Greatest monster for me, like in terms of like being awesome and kicking ass, the Weeping Angels for me and the silence, they are amazing. The silence actually creeped me out and I was just like, whoa, and I really liked him. But like my favorite, my ultimate favorite, like my heart goes out to, it's the Woods. They are just amazingly cute and I just want to squish them and all of those things that are here in the ball and just, ah, they're so cute. I love them. So yeah, them. Definitely them. Next question. This is the final one. Worst monster you have ever seen in Doctor Who? I wouldn't say I, I dislike one. Like, oh my god, that was crappy. Because I, I guess the crappiness factor of Doctor Who is what appeals in Doctor Who. I don't know how to explain that. Like, I think that 2008 Doctor Who, 2005 Doctor Who was crappy, but like that was consistent with the time. It was crappy because they had a crappy budget, probably, because it was BBC and because it was 2005. So I don't blame them. Like I said, oh my god, that was crappy, let's not look at that. Like, no, I like them. A, a giant wasp? Like, who wouldn't love that <laughs> as an alien? <laughs> I love it. I think it's cheesy, Classic Doctor Who. I like it. I don't dislike anyone. I enjoy it. That was it! Yay! Again, if you want to do this, I tag you all and you can do this wherever you want. I also give it a like if you liked this video. Share it if you want to share it with your loved ones. And that is it, I think. I hope you have a fantastic week or weekend and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye! giveaway is coming 150 people are here thank you thank you so much a giveaway is coming next week I am talking to my best friend like probably as I finish this to see how the bookmarks are doing and then next week I'll announce it and we can do a giveaway Yay! thank you so much for being here for subscribing 150 is amazing I never thought this would actually be a thing and I know this is tiny for people but it is huge for me so thank you a lot Really, I appreciate it. You guys are all babies, and I love you very, very much. Okay, that was it, I think. I need to go. Bye!